Gardens. Dignity in Death, an organization giving babies abandoned by their parents at hospitals a proper burial. Indiana is one of the worst states when it comes to infant mortality. And only on our TV6, Stephanie Wade shows us the group that makes sure no baby who dies is forgotten. Hospitals say every year they are left with babies who died at birth by mothers never to return. For whatever reason, I found out this happens more often than you'd think. But this organization claims those babies, gives them a name and a proper burial. Let Earth receive her king. We are honoring baby Stephen Joseph. Today, this baby has a name. Your life mattered. Even though I don't know you and even though you're a stranger to me, your life matters. After spending just two hours here on Earth as a stillborn, his mother left him at a local hospital. I don't know what her conflict is or was, but I know that in her choosing to walk away, we walked in. Though his mother abandoned him without holding a funeral, Linda Zanaco isn't. Because to her, this baby's life meant something. Baby Stephen Joseph, as she named him, means something. The lost part of the baby is really sad. And then I get to claim this baby and do something beautiful with the fact that the baby was lost. The baby now for me is found. Babies born over 20 weeks old are required by law to be buried or cremated. Hospitals try at length to reach the parents or family members. If unsuccessful after a certain point, they reach out to Zanaco with He Knows Your Name Ministries. She signs legally binding paperwork all the way from the hospital to the funeral home to the cemetery where she's buried now 21 abandoned babies. I see that every one of my babies is an opportunity for me to talk about infant loss bereavement subjects, the fact that we need to raise the stigma of mis miscarriage and stillborn loss and infant loss because there's so many families who've walked in silence. Giving each child a name, a gown, and a proper send off to celebrate their life. And let his little child come in. Working for you, Stephanie Wade, RTV6. Well, one of the hospitals He Knows Your Name Ministries partners with is Community Health Network. Two years ago, they told us up to 10 babies were abandoned each year at their hospitals. Now that number is down to five. They say they've improved their bereavement services, and that's helping to lower abandonment rates. Riley Children's Health has a new tool to help grieving families say goodbye to a newborn who has died. The Cuddle Cot is an addition to the Hope and Healing Bereavement Program at Riley Children's Health. It's a cooling device that allows families families to spend extra time with their newborn after death. Riley Children's Health says the cuddle cot was donated through He Knows Your Name Ministry.